All right, so one more example here of integrating a trig function using some substitution. So here we have 5 times cosine to the 4th uh, of 2x times sine of 2x dx. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. Um, I'm even going to pull the 5 out front. This is the same thing as cosine of 2x all raised to the 4th power times sine of 2x. And, you know, so now I'm going to pick my u substitution. Um, you know, I think there's a couple different choices here, you know. You could let u be 2x, but then you would have cosine to the fourth times sine of something, and, you know, what do you do with that? You can actually use some identities in that case, um, I think, to break it down. But um, even easier than that, um, by far easier. You know, I see a cosine of something and sine of something. Well, um, if I can just make this stuff in the parentheses a single quantity, um, integrating would not be too terrible at all, as long as, you know, the du helps. And in this case, it will. If we pick u to be cosine of 2x, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Leave the inside alone. Then we have to take the derivative of the inside, so times 2. All right, so kind of the way, I know our 5's outside. I'm just not even going to, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll certainly worry about it. But I'm thinking, okay, there's a sine 2x dx in here that I want to replace. Well, here's the sine 2x dx in our problem. So really, there's an extra negative 2 that I, you know, sort of don't want in there. Well, to get rid of the negative 2, I can just multiply both sides by negative 1 half. So it says negative 1 half du will be the same thing as sine 2x dx. And now I think we're in a position where we can just, you know, use our substitution. So there's our original 5. Um, there's our integral. Cosine of 2x, that's what we're calling u, so we would have u to the fourth power. Sine 2x dx, again, that's what we're going to replace with the negative one-half times du. And if you want to, you know, you could pull, this is all multiplication, so you can pull the negative one-half out front, and that would give us negative 5 over 2 when we multiply. And then we're just integrating, hey, u to the fourth du, and that's about as friendly as they come anymore, so... That'll give us negative 5 over 2. We'll get u to the 5th power over 5 plus c. Well, we could just cancel out our 5s, so that would leave us with negative 1 half. And then we would have u to the 5th, but again, u is cosine of 2x. So I'm just going to put our cosine of 2x inside of there. And then we have our plus c left over, and again, that would be our antiderivative for our original